Hey guys, it's Mame and my trusty sidekick walked away. He'll be back. I said, I'm going to start without you because I said I was coming right back. So I'm starting without him. He just ran out for a second. He'll be back. Some packages came, so I'm sure he's going to see what's in those packages. So we will see him in a minute. Y'all tell me what's going on in y'all's world. I'm actually looking at comments for once, right? Um, Let's see. That's not coffee. I don't know why I slurped it. Habit. I don't know. Y'all come on in. So if you're watching the replay, this is the Crafter After Show where we talk about what we want to talk about. We're going to show you guys some stuff from across the miles. I'm going to show you some updates. Um, mostly updates about stuff that's happening. Mostly updates about events that we have going on. And um, did you check packages? I said you went and there were packages. There are packages. Do you know what they might be? Uh, there's some from our one distributor and then there's some stamp sets too. Okay. Because I don't know what it is without going Is the other thing I want here? The thing that arrived in diesel? Uh, not that I know of. The mail has not run. Okay. All right, guys. So, Tina's working on her recipe flip book. Um, hello, hello, hello. Making Christmas cards for a challenge. I cannot wait for y'all to see Saturday's challenge video. I have not been thrown that hard in a while. And the funny thing is, I enjoyed it because it made me, like... It almost made me MacGyver it. It's a MacGyver, MacGyver it. Yeah, because like, listen. So here's what happens. I'll just tell you from my end because I want y'all to see the video. But, so, the, here's what they did. They brought these dish towels in. Did you notice your dish towels are in here? Yeah. They picked, here's what the challenge was. If you saw Tuesday's video, if you didn't, you need to watch it. It's so funny. The girls came in and they picked out 10 items. And the 10 items were paper, stamps, ink, scissors, um, trimmer, glue, like they, they had to pick 10 items. It couldn't be like, I didn't get to use anything except what they put on the table. That's all I could use. And so then they would cover it with a dish towel. All right. And when I came in the room, I lifted the dish towel. I had 10 seconds to look at it and then I had to get started. And to keep me honest and for you guys to know, it was all honest. I even had somebody in the room the whole time. So the first video, Jordan sat here. He gave me my 10 second countdown and then I had my 10 minute countdown. And then for Saturday's video, Shannon was in here and she gave me my 10 second countdown and then stayed for the whole 10 minutes. And the difference in the girls and the boys is this. The girls sort of can't help it. They have an eye for design and they are not, they have a hard time going outside of that. So they pick the perfect ink and the perfect paper and the perfect, you know, everything. With the boys, I came in this morning and the dish towel was laid over my work service because they had picked it all out yesterday afternoon while I wasn't here. So the dish towel was laid over and I went, oh no, because I looked over here and guess what was right here? My trimmer. So it wasn't under the uh -oh. dish towel. I didn't get to use it. So I went and got them and we, um, we film our film. We got Shannon and I filmed me looking and getting started. And I was like, "Are you kidding? Like I didn't have a trimmer. I didn't have scissors. I didn't have foam tape. I didn't. I had one adhesive. Um, you'll have to see it. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I challenge you guys to do it. And the uh, to me, it's more fun. Like a lot of people are saying, I need some crafty friends to do this with. I think it'd be more fun if you grab somebody who's not a crafty friend and. If you want to, go ahead and get yourself a card base. You can give yourself a base. But have them go through your room and say, look, I want to make a card. Go through stuff and find 10 things. And if you if you don't make a good card or a card you feel like is up to your standard, don't worry about it. It's just fun seeing if you can challenge yourself. And I discovered something that I really love that I'm probably going to do in a video later. Um, let me show y'all. No, I don't want to show you because I don't want to give away how I had to get around things. <laughs> I'm not going to show you. I want you to see it. But I did discover something that's a really cool te uh, technique for those of us who don't like to just tear paper because we don't like the randomness of the tear. I discovered something you're going to love because I don't like the random tear. But I love a specific tear. I'm okay with that, right? Mm, okay. So I discovered something you're going to love. Um, it was so, of course, I had to tear. I had no scissors. So it was fun. Um that was my next adhesive. The only thing, um, the boys don't pick the easy. No, they did not pick easy. To get. They actually thought it was funny, the stuff they gave me because of what was on it. The other thing you that um, some people mentioned is that the next time we do the challenge, I don't know when that'll be, but the next time we do it, it needs to be, I have to use everything they put on the table. I have to use a portion of it because the way the challenge was this time, they had some, they had put some funny stuff in that really didn't match. And I didn't have to use it because that wasn't the challenge. I just couldn't use anything else. 
than what was there. So they said the next time they wanted to make it, because they wanted to see what I did with it. And what I did with it was scoot it off to the side. <laughs> like, we're not using it. So anyway. Alex is talking to you hey, in the Alex. chat. Hey, Alex. Hey, bud. He said, I it's know. Alex. I'm coming to see you next week. I can't wait to see you next week. You're probably grown. I'm not even going to recognize you. We were talking about that because nope. he's at that age where he grows so fast. Please tell me that's not a spider going to drop down on my head. Okay, I can handle the wasp. I have been sitting here more times the than you can The boys will count. come in here with the electric tennis racket and take care of that for you. I can t- I cannot tell you how many times I've sat right here and a spider has dropped down on my face. Um, the other thing is when you watch Saturday's video, at the end, I asked you guys a question about the challenge and where we might could go further with it. Um, and I think you'll like it, but I want you to watch Saturday's video and give us your opinion in the comments because I think it'll be good. You have to watch till the end because when everybody came back in the room, and saw the card. The chat that started, there was even a fight almost started between two of them. <laughs> it's so funny. Y'all need to hear it. It's funny. Um, you're very tall. How tall are you, Alex? I said he's going to be grown and we're not going to wreck. You're not going to be the same little guy that almost knocked me down at um, Sampa's Gate hugging me. Yeah. You know? Because when he hugged me then, he was like right here. And then at um, in Texas, he was already shoulder easy shoulder height. Yep. I can't imagine how tall you are. I'm sure he's a big boy now. Cannot wait. Um, so you want to talk a little bit about uh, Made It Con and the fact that classes go on sale tomorrow? Yes. One question I just saw. Um, oh, where'd it go? Did you record the one with the boys you had to do in 10 minutes? Yes, that'll go up Saturday. So y'all be watching for it. It's really good. But I don't want to give anything away. So Amanda suggested, and I thought this was a good idea. I have my notes, by the way. Well, she wanted me to tell you again, just in case you didn't remember, that if you are planning on attending Made It Con in April of 2020, there's a different website that you have to go to to sign up for those classes. And she suggested that if you're interested, that you might go ahead to that website and register. Yeah, um, and I've got a list of a whole bunch of stuff we're going to go through in just a second. Let me do the Cross the Miles. I only oh, have so, the one thing. Well, why don't you just go ahead and do it while I'm here and then come back to Cross the Miles? No, I want to show my one thing. It's okay. really cool. I've been wanting to use it too. So check this out. So we had visitors. Let me show you this. She made a beautiful card. You're going to love this card, by the way. He's okay, five look. foot five, he says. Oh, my goodness. I might still be a tiny bit taller than you, but the older I'm getting, the shorter I'm getting. So I don't know. We'll see. Five foot five. My goodness, you'll be a very tall, very tall young man. Okay, check this out. So the front of the card goes like this. So it opens like that. It says, I cannot say thanks enough. And then it has a little ribbon, a baker's twine that ties. And you open this up and there's the note. And she wrote us the sweetest note. And um, she says at the end, give them heaven. This is what she would say. And when she left, she said, give them heaven. Um, that's Deborah Williamson. I love it. The card is gorgeous. How cool is the red and brown together for the ice cream? I love that because that was what my home was before. Remember it was red and brown Mm -hmm. before we painted it? I love that. (coughs) Look what she gave me. First off, I love this box. Y'all may see something happen. I've been um, trying to dream about this box. Oh, it's not in here. It's up front. My prize is not in here. I've been dreaming about this box and what we can do to have some fun with the box that works like this. So this is the box that my hand sanitizer came in. She gave me a special hand sanitizer because she said, I know how much you hate to get yucky stuff on your hand, so at least this way you can have some hand sanitizer at your desk. But I decided to put it up front because when we do craft Acropolis, (laughs) when we do craft teak sales, um, I have to flip through all the pages where they write down all the names of the people who claim the items. And as I'm flipping, if I'll use hand sanitizer, it helps my hands to flip the pages better. So mm-hmm. I sat it up front where I use it all the time. So thank you so much. I love it. I love it. Okay. To my list. I don't have anything pretty to put here while, while we talk about the list. Why don't you just put the list there? Because it ain't pretty. It's my handwriting. Here, I'm we'll put, put Vinny. He's pretty. I'm going to put you there. You're pretty. Okay. Um... The first thing on my list is Craft Acropolis. This is extremely important. Hear me out, okay? If you would like to come to Craft Acropolis, ticket sales for Craft Acropolis end tomorrow, all right? We have to end them so we can get the classes ready because we got to get all the kits ready for the number of people we have coming. At this point, there are some seats left in classes, not a whole bunch. So if you're interested, um, where's my Craft Acropolis sheet? I bet I don't have it in here. Um, Craft Acropolis, we have three different classes being taught. And I want to say this too. You don't have to attend the whole event to come to classes. You can just come to the class that you want to take. 
Lisa will be debuting her Prompted Memories albums at Craft Acropolis. She'll be doing, she'll be teaching it every day for three days, once a day for three days. So you have an opportunity to get in on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Brenda is doing a shadow box and mini album um, in the same class. And she'll be doing that every day. So she'll be teaching that class three different times, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. And then I'm doing in as many as cards as we can get out of one paper pack and probably tags too. I usually mix that up, but mostly cards and then some tags. And that will be every day, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I do think my Thursday class is sold out, but I have some Friday and Saturday available. Come take the class. It'll be super fun. Even if you've never crafted before, these projects that we're doing, they're going to be super easy. And we have a little longer in this uh, um, class, even though we have them scheduled for two hours, because the way we're doing it, you can go from the classroom to the crop floor. And then those us teachers can be on the crop floor and still help you continue and extend out. As long as you have a crop table, I need to say that because the table doesn't come with the class. They're all sold a la carte. I think we have a few tables left. Um, we are going to have, I'm going to tell y'all real quick, because we haven't made a lot of these announcements. We will be get. we will have, we have a stage that we will have at this event. On stage, we will be giving away every two hours door prizes. Okay. And every two hours, me, Lisa, and Brenda, the teachers are going to be bringing top tips from the stage for you guys. So tips that we have for crafting or storage or gifting or whatever, just tips that we have we want to share with you guys. So every two hours, we'll be bringing you a tip. And on Thursday at three o'clock, we're having our meet and greet. All right. So if you're traveling on Thursday, you're going to want to get there before 3 p.m. That's when we're doing our first um, icebreaker to get to know everybody. We'll have giveaways in that event as well. We'll be doing all kinds of stuff. We're trying to keep it high energy and fun for you guys. And then on the last day, at the end of the day, at 5 p.m. on Saturday, we're going to be giving away three big prizes. So if you attended Craft Acropolis in any way, as a, as a student for classes, or if you had a table, then you will be entered to win a $50 gift certificate to our store, a $75 gift certificate to our store, and a $100 gift certificate to our store. So we're giving those three away at the end of the day, and at the end of the weekend, and Vinny has already proved it. See how he didn't even pass out? He already knew. Didn't pass out. He already proved it. And as a bonus, I think it's a bonus, it's a bonus for me and my family. We have a restaurant, so on Thursday and Friday, uh, Thursday and Friday night, if you would like to have dinner with me, my family, our staff, whoever, we're just telling our friends and family, if you can be there, be there. Um, we're going to have a space where you guys can have dinner with us. Now it's, it's not a dinner. It's not like you come in and it's a dinner provided, but we're all going to have to go to dinner. So each person has their own ticket. You order what you want. They're doing buffet or menu. So you can pick what you want. And all you have to do is let Amanda know, I'd like to be at the dinner and she reserves your seat for you. That's all you got to do. Reserve a seat and you can have dinner with us that night. It's going to be super fun. Um, it's at our friend's restaurant. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be neat. That's, Craft Acropolis, and it's going to be here before we know it. It's next week. It's a week from today. We got an email this morning from uh, a lady who's coming all the way from California. Her email was so cute and well written. Yep. It was like she told us how many states they'd crossed, how many hours they'd been driving. It was so cute. I loved it. I cannot believe she's driving from California to come to Craft Acropolis, but I'm glad. It's actually a really good event if you want to get to, to meet us and know us and hang out with us because we're not teaching as much at that event as we are at Made It Con, so we really have a lot more free time there to be able to hang out with you guys. So there you go. That's Craft Acropolis. My next okay, one. so Roxanne says, what site do we use to sign up for the crop class event? It's just a regular one, right? For the one next week, it's the regular website. And if you go to com in the middle of the page, you'll see that it says events. If you'll just hover over events and let it drop down, you can click on Craft Acropolis, and that's where you can get all the information about that one. And the next one I want to talk to you guys about is something really cool and new. And I really think you guys will like this. I know not everybody watches our Chalk Couture videos, and that's super cool. I totally respect that. We put one up on Wednesday, and yesterday's video, when I put it up, I announced a new Facebook group we have that even if you don't really, per I don't know, if you don't want to sell um, Chalk Couture or whatever, you might like this Facebook group, and here's why. What we're trying to do is have a live show every day with people from my team to show you different ways of using product that's Chalk Couture. Here's why. 
I'm only one person and I can only use so much of the products. And also what I like from the catalog is not the same as what other people like from the catalog. So the cool thing is when we have our whole team there, you're going to see them doing completely different projects. And it might be something you purchased that you want an idea for how to use. Here's a good example. I'm not really into the Parisian theme kind of thing, but I noticed that Amanda's last video, she used the Paris, the Eiffel Tower um, transfer, and she did it on the reclaimed tin tray that they have, and it's really pretty. And that way you can see us using different, different chalks, different inks, different surfaces, different transfers. And we have somebody going live every day on that Facebook group. So if you're a person who wants live shows every day and a community you can chat with and people you can get to know, that's the place to do it. It's on Facebook. It's called Chalk Live with the Chalk It's. And I bet there's already a link. There it is right there in the chat. If you're watching the chat, you can click on that link and go join that um, group. Now, in the top of that, on that um, Facebook group, in the top um, header picture, our schedule is there. So you can see who is live at what time with that schedule. And we're hoping as our team starts to grow and get more brave with doing their live shows, we really want to have Ideally, I want to have a live show going all the time. Like I want that channel to be live, 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 live. Just all, it's not a channel, it's a group. But I want a live going all the time. So you'll start to see that there'll be more multiple um, live shows going throughout the day. So that way, if you're in a different time zone, you can still catch a live show. And I think that'd be cool. And it's all Chalk Couture related. I want to make sure I tell you this. 100% Chalk Couture related. There are coming, they haven't happened yet, but we're going to be doing some comment sold stuff over there too. So all that's coming. So go join it. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Laura asked, what are the ways I can get a catalog? Um, I don't have a, I don't have anything this month going on yet. Last month I was using, I sent them out as thank you uh, gifts whenever you placed an order. And actually, if you like that, I can continue doing that. I had a lot of people last month that really, um, really were grateful because they were going to buy something anyway. And that way, as a thank you note, I'm using them as thank you cards is what I was doing. So if you guys want that, tell me here if that's what you want me to do and I will. Because they are a great thank you note. <laughs> Just like, thank you. There you go. Um, the other thing I have listed, you want to tell any of these things? I mean, I don't care. I, I, I can't see it. About but... them. Um, I want to talk about Maticon last because it's going to be more information. So let's talk about, can you talk about the store hours at Craft Acropolis? Sure. I can handle that part, I think. So during Craft Acropolis, we're not going to have a store at, did I say something wrong? Oh, you something got you? Joseph just said hello to us. And then mom said, hey. This is mom, not Joe. Don't even ask how this happened because I don't know. Joe was at her house this week, so he signed oh, in on her Lord. computer. No so that's what happened. But during Craft Acropolis, we will not have the store on site at Craft Acropolis because it's relatively close. So we're going to extend the hours uh, for the, the store. So it will be open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 in the afternoon. Um, I thought we were not close, staying at 5.30 on Saturday. Did I say through Saturday? I you didn't did. mean to. It's till 3 o'clock on Saturday. 3 o'clock, 9 to 3 on Saturday. But Thursday and Friday, the store will be open till 5.30 in the afternoon. So you'll be able to come by and shop. And if you're passing through and you're not attending Craft Acropolis, the store will be open. So you'll be able to, to look, uh, especially for those that are traveling on Saturday and may want to stop by the store. It will be open from 9 to 3 on Saturday. So that's it. So what's a challenge video? Um, I'll, that's what we were talking about earlier. Okay. We already Linda's having one. trouble typing a whole statement, she says. So, I, um, thank you for the hug. I wish you could type out what you want to say. I went back and read what you were trying to say and I can't quite make it out. Um, the thank you is for purchasing from my Chalk Couture site. It's not from our regular website. It's from our Chalk Couture site. So if you purchase from my Chalk Couture site, which is chalkcouture.com forward slash may made it. If you would like for me to continue that, that can be our thank you note. It's a great, it's a good thank you note. We'll continue it. Amanda, we're going to continue it. All right. There's your store hours for next week. 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday from, uh, it's, I think it's 10 a.m. to 3 on Saturday. The other thing is we, we will be open all week. We'll be here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as well. Our normal hours, 9 to 4. But we're extending our hours for Craft Acropolis because I know some of you guys are going to be traveling in in the morning and you'll want to shop in the afternoon. And don't forget, signing up um, for Craft Acropolis 
gets you a free stamp set of your choice. So all you have to do is when you go to Craft Acropolis and register, you'll get your little coupon to bring to the store to cash in for that. Woo. It's a free four by six set, right? Oh, it might be 11, Sandy. She said open and early. It might be 11. On Saturday? What time do we open on Saturday? Did I say it wrong? On here, you just wrote 9 to 5.30. I know, but, but I was not thinking about that. Amanda didn't put a time. She said we'll be open until 3 on Saturday. Yeah, I, so. I might be wrong. It might be 11. I'm not sure. So they can correct me if I'm wrong. All right. So the next thing I have, the challenge video was me reminding y'all to go watch the challenge video Saturday. Oh, okay. And so we talked about that already. Store hours. Okay, Medicon. We did it. We got through to Medicon. All right. This is... So Saturday is 11 to 3. Okay, it's 11 to 3. My Amanda bad. Amanda clarified. My bad. We, we had to do that around who has to be where and when for Craft Acropolis, so that's how we had to do that because we got to have people in both places. So, my bad. Okay, what is Made at Con? This is the question I get asked all the time. What is Made at Con? Made at Con is May May's Crafty Convention, okay? And we have multiple teachers teaching multiple classes multiple days. And we offer this to you in an a la carte format. What that means is there is not a registration fee. There's not a one-time fee. There's not an all-inclusive fee. You get to pick and choose where you want to attend based on the classes that we release for you guys. Okay? So I do that because, and a lot of people don't, a lot of people would prefer I had one price, but here's why I don't do the one price thing. There was a time in my life when if I wanted to go to an event like this, I would have to wrap it around a family vacation in order to afford to go to something like that, uh, to be in a city like this. And I wouldn't be able to stay there the whole time and I couldn't afford three or $400 to take all the classes. This way, I can pick the ones I could take. And if I can only go to one class, I can still attend the event and I don't feel like I can't afford it. So that's why we do it. If you can only afford one class, you can still come to MadeItCon. You can still come to the free meet and greet. You know what I'm saying? So... That's what Made It Con is. This year, Made It Con is in Clanton, Alabama at our <coughs> Performing Arts Center. The dates, I'll let you say the dates because I always get them wrong anyway. April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of 2020. That's right. So of ne April of next year. If you're interested in attending, here's the two things you need to do right now. First, you need to get yourself a hotel room. There are only like 179 hotel rooms in our county. So you need to grab yourself a hotel room if you need to get in a, t a, get a hotel room. All the information to help you find a hotel is on the website. The website you want to go to is maymaysmadeitcon.com. Amanda posted the link so you can see it there in the comments. I'm going to write it. Dub, dub, dub. Maymays. Hey, is mama still watching? Ask if she is, because I want to ask her a question. I May think Hayes. you did just ask her if she was still there. I'm asking you. <laughs> I don't know. She's commented one time. That would have been if I'd have been like, why is Joseph commenting on her? Okay. Yes. May Mays, with an S, madeitcon.com. There's all the information you need for where to stay, places to stay, things like that. Thing We're even working on a things to-do list. We have so much stuff we're working on. I'm really excited about for you guys. But... Ticket sales for classes start Friday, tomorrow, Friday, August 9th <clears throat> at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes, she's still here. Mama, um, do you you don't know which, which days when you're coming to Craft Acropolis next week, do you? Because I was going to let people know because they're going to want to meet y'all too. They're going to want to meet you. Oh, man. <laughs> I am janky. I am janky. Okay, this is a class grid. So this section here is Thursday of Made It Con. This is Friday of Made It Con. And this is Saturday of Made It Con. Okay? Um, this, this first day, registration starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. And that's from like 8 to 10. But it's actually all day. If, if you don't have a class till like 3 o'clock, the registration table is open every day, all day. It's, it's registration and information. There's somebody there for you if you need to register or anything like that. And then you'll notice that the time over here, this class starts at 10. All these classes start at 10. There's a lunch break in the middle. All these classes start at 1. There's a room reset in the middle. And then all these classes start at 3. Okay? At the bottom is our open house at the store. So we won't be here. We'll come back to the store for this. All right? And that's after a dinner break. 
Now, what I suggest is you get your, you go to the class grid. You can get it from the website, maymaysmadeitcon.com. You can print this grid out, okay? Go ahead now, print the grid out. Read the titles of the classes, all right? Read what you think you might be interested in. Maybe highlight them, all right? To make it easier for you to go find them tomorrow and purchase them. That way, you'll know, okay, I'm taking a class here, here, and here, 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 and here, whatever you're taking. It's just the best way to keep up with where your classes are. Now, don't worry. You don't have to bring this with you or keep up with it. When you come to MadeItCon, when we register you, we go through and we make sure we have you in every class you're supposed to be in. We give you a highlighted grid so you know where to be when. All the rooms are clearly marked. You'll know exactly where you're going. But there are... 10 teachers at Made It Con this year, and I'll tell you who they are. They are me, they are Brenda, they are Lisa, they are Edith Ray from Scrapbooking With Me, they are Tracy Phillips from Gift Basket Appeal and Mindless Crafting. There is, um, I'm trying not to mix up, okay, there's Joy Claire. Um, they're doing Bible journaling, super excited about that. There is um, um, Paulette from The Scrapbook Princess in Moody, Alabama. Melissa is also sort of, sort of from that same store. She's friends with Paulette. That's how we met her. So she's coming from the Moody area. And then I have Christopher from Brutus Monroe, who we're super excited about. And then I also have, who did I miss? Did I say me? You did say you. I think you said everybody. I've missed somebody. Uh, Renee, Renee, Renee is going to be doing a talk tour class and like an introduction to talk tour. This was one of you guys' ideas. Brilliant. This is what, um, we had a visitor come in and she said, here's the thing. I love the look of the talk tour, but before I invest in it, I want to see how it really works. So if you could do a class where we could do a start to finish take home project and see how it really works, I'd love that. So that's what Renee is doing. I think that's what I was missing was Renee. Let me glance and make sure. Amanda mentioned Renee, so that must be who it was. I think that's who I was missing was Renee. All right, so you can choose from 5, 10, 15 classes on Thursday. Um, this will be 5, 10, 15, 20 classes on Friday. I have two spots. I don't know what's going there yet. And then 10 classes on Saturday. You can choose from those from those classes. They will go on sale tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Do you already know the prices for them? Is that something we're exposing before they go on sale or I don't. Not? I don't have the prices yet, but I will tell you this. This is what you can expect. They're going to run between, I think we have one class that ended up being about $21. We had one that's pretty pretty low. So I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's between $21 and about $55. Those are the classes. And I will tell you, you get things in these classes. This is not, here's what we ask you to bring with you. For the most part, it's just the make it kit. There are places we ask you to bring something here or there. Like we've got one thing we're doing where we ask you to bring an apron. That's just to protect your clothes. Bring an apron. Um, if you don't want to wear an apron, don't even bring that. One class, um, calico cards with Brenda we ask you to bring some scraps so dig into your scraps and bring them because we want to help you turn your scraps into cards and who better than Brenda to help you do that because she's brilliant at that um I'm trying to think if there's another class that most of the classes is just the make it kit most okay, of them. Kelly asked uh will the prompted memories class at made it con be different than the one that's at craft acropolis yes because the one at craft acropolis is the Christmas version and she won't be doing the Christmas version in April this is the Christmas version, so she'll be doing a different one then. Um, the Prompted Memories is going to take off. Y'all are going to love that. When you see that, y'all are going to love that. And um, what else? Questions? Uh, Sylvia said the class grid is not showing on the website. Um, she... Amanda, just grab it and link it in here. That way we don't have to try to search which page she's looking on. Just link the page for us. That'll be faster. Everyone should bring a recipe for Vinny's Vittles. Um, actually, in my recipe book class, when you read the description, it actually does say, I do ask you guys to bring a recipe to share with the rest of the class. Because I thought it'd be cool if you took a recipe with you from everybody that was in the class to put in your book. We won't be writing them in there, but we will be. Now, let me tell you what is sold out, because I know some of you guys are going to be looking for it. Make It Go Around is sold out, and um, Make It Escape It has sold out. But that's the only things you can't get right now. Nothing else is sold out. So if you go to the website today, it's going to look sold out, because there's two classes on there, and they are sold out. 
If you're interested in those classes, you are welcome to contact Amanda and get on a waiting list. You can email Amanda at MamieMadeIt.com. She has a waiting list. If some things happen, things happen. People, surgeries come up, family emergencies come up, things happen. So sometimes there is a pocket or a seat or something that comes available. And we always fill those. We never want empty seats in those classes because that's what makes them fun. So you never know. If you want in those classes, make sure you get on the waiting list. Laura asked about paper quilling. Did yeah. you stop doing paper quilling? It's not for me. <laughs> it just isn't. I tried it. It's not for me. It's too detailed for me. So yeah. And I it, 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 the product we had in the store didn't seem to be very popular either. So it was. It went well. I, that wasn't even the thing for me. It just was not my thing. And I think a lot of my because I don't craft like that. I just don't. I, I wish I did. It's just not for me. That's how I learn things though. You got to try it and see if you like it. Any idea when the TBA will be announced? I'm not sure what that means. Oh, these classes? I'm not sure. We've already filled. We had three spots to fill. We filled one of them. I have two more left. And I'm thinking of bringing in some local folks that you guys may have never heard of before or worked with before. So I'm, do, I'm looking at some stuff, talking to some folks. They may not be filled in. We may decide not to put anything there because I'm extremely picky. I'm just going to be honest. I am. I'm so picky that I'm like, I want to make well, you sure. You don't want a class that you don't think is going to be. I'm not going to put something out there just to put something out there to fill a room. Um, and I kind of have the luxury of that at this location to be able to say, nah, I don't have to fill that room in this time. So I may not put anything in there, but I will. I'm trying to. I can't do it because I'm teaching during those times. So that's what we're looking at. I can't do another class there because I'm teaching. And here, I can't do one here because of something. What was it? Oh, I might can do one here. Because, look, I don't think I teach again. I'll look at that. I might take this spot for me. If I do, I may teach something off the wall, something that I just want to see how y'all like it and see how many people would sign up for it. So We'll probably not be filming the Make It, Escape It because it's... No, we will not be filming it. It's uh, kind of a secret. Here's the thing about Make It, Escape It. We will not film it. Cameras will not be allowed. Photos will not be allowed. We will have a photo booth where you can take pictures that will say, I, I escaped, make it, escape it. But you'll not be allowed to film or anything. And we're even going to ask you in the event not to share with others. All we want you to do is say, you should do it or you shouldn't. Like if you go, if you go and don't enjoy it, then you tell somebody don't do it. But don't give away the escape it. I don't know if you've ever done an escape room, but that that's what they ask you and they don't let you film like the ending or the things that are the most important about it. So we don't want to give it away. It's a fun thing and we want people to know and everyone will be slightly different, but we don't want to give away what the deal is. So, uh, Ray, Rihanna asked, can the spoon man be a vendor? It made it con. <laughs> I don't have the space for vendors. We have maxed out every sec, every part of this, but we are talking about, doing a vendor event for you guys. And we, we even talked about maybe trying to do one the same time, but I don't really know if we can logistically get that to happen. I don't know yeah. if we can, we will. Cause I would like to do one. If we do one, what we talked about doing is having one. Um, I have another location that I can use. I don't want to say yet. Cause I don't know what else available to me, but I do know it's available if I can get it. If I have another location I can use where I can put together a vendor event and then you guys could get to attend that in between classes and stuff like that. So we're, we are looking at that because I would like to, because look, I love my spoon bracelets. Y'all know, look at this one. Yep. This one is from 1944. I won't, I would like to have one just, I just want them just to have them from all the years and just go, this one's from this year and this one's from that year. The other thing I like about what this um, particular spoon vendor does, notice this one doesn't have the pearl in the middle. Because my pearl is not a genuine pearl, it started to flake, but I wore it every day since November. Like I've literally worn it. If I forgot it, I'm, it's like my watch. I'm like, oh, I forgot my bracelet. Yeah. But my pearl has started to kind of flake off. So I need to exchange, I need to change my bead out, which is no big deal. I can do that. But I love how his, he um, brings these together. And another thing he does, which I didn't get, he gives you a free charm. Is it free? A dollar. Uh, I think the price included one charm. One if you charm. added an additional charm, it was a dollar. So he has charms you can choose from, and he puts them on this little um, jump ring right here, and then you have little dangly charms. But I didn't care for the dangle because I film, and the reason I like these bracelets is they don't dangle when I film, so I can actually wear this jewelry. So I didn't want the charms, but he does include that. It's really cool. So anyway, next. <laughs> next. No questions? Well... Uh I mean, I'm sure there's some. Did you blank out on me? No. Okay. Terrence asked if maybe one of the hotels host a vendor event. Um, I, 
I think I, I really do have an idea. And may, I've been wanting to do a May May Vendor event anyway. I've been wanting to do something for a while. And it'd be a good time for me to try it because all you guys would be here and it'd give you something to do. Like, it's Clanton. Ain't nothing to do here. <laughs> So I'm working on that. Don't worry. I will try that. I think, um, and I want to do my vendor event as a fundraiser. So I've got several things local that need, that need some fundraising. So we're wanting to do something like that. And I think this is a good opportunity to do it. So, um, do you know those answers? Uh, the, not your mama cardstock. I don't know. It's on order. So hopefully not too long. Oh, yes. This black feather bracelet. Oh, my gosh. This is a very special um, thing for me to have. Um, you guys know I watch Rainy Branch. She's my paparazzi uh, consultant. She's on Facebook. Rainy. R-A-Y-N-E-E. -E. Her last name is Branch. B-R-A-N-C-H. And I purchased from her a white um, one of these guys. $5, by the way. That's what I love about paparazzi jewelry. I purchased a white one. Um, and I fell in love with it and I had it on video. I still have it and I love it. And even you guys were commenting on it. And then as a surprise, Rainy said, I found something you're going to want. And she showed me, she said, I found it in black. They don't make this one anymore. I don't believe. I think this is one she had in her vault and she let me get it. I'm so excited. I love it. I, it works perfect with my spoon bracelets. I love it. Um, yes, they're Anne. When tomorrow when they go live, you'll see all the descriptions of the classes. Amanda has been working like crazy on this. Every one of these classes, she has been listen, let me tell you how this works. Amanda has to work with a bunch of creative people. And creative people don't like lists and they don't like giving you product lists and descriptions. We don't like doing that. We just want that to happen. So she's been working with 10 teachers getting descriptions and product lists and supplies and prices and all that good stuff. And so she's been compi compiling it into, all, she's been doing all the products and everything. So tomorrow, when this goes live at 2 o'clock, you'll be able to see on each class, you'll be able to see all the information, a good description of what it is and the supplies, what to bring, what's included, all that good stuff. They'll ask about what is prompted memories. Prompted memories. Okay, so we have a group of girls called the, um, everybody says it. <laughs> the Secret Society. It's the Secret Society of the Charming Chilton Chicks. That's what we're called. Well, at our last meeting, this always happens. We try not to talk work because about five of us work together. Maybe more than that now. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of us. <laughs> eight of us. Out of 14, work together. So we try not to talk work. So at the end of the night, when people are leaving, the eight of us tend to straggle back and so we can talk about work. Well, this one particular night, we were talking about Craft Acropolis and, this, and it coming up and what we were going to do there. And Lisa was talking about her classes. And she loves to do albums and, portfo and uh, portfolios or folios and scrapbooks. Well, we were like, you know, what's the thing... We always like we always like to give you something that you ask for. And the thing you always ask us for is, look, we make these beautiful albums, but how do I know what pictures or how to put pictures in or how to make it look like a cohesive album? So I said, wouldn't it be cool if somebody did something like, you know those things where on Instagram you'll see like for August, here's 31 prompts of what to post on your Instagram in August, right? Mm -hmm. That makes life easier because like day one is like your favorite color, you know? I was like, wouldn't it be cool if we had a way to do an album where they were prompted what to put into each space so you make the album ahead of time and then through the season, like Christmas, maybe you make a section that says bake cookies, okay? You know in this spot your cookie picture goes there. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe it says favorite Christmas movie, right? Maybe it says that. Then you know in this spot you're going to take a picture of you guys when you're watching a movie so you can fill in that spot. It's literally scrapbooking for beginner like scrapbook or scrapbooking for you have no idea what to do and it's not scrapbooking she's actually you're going to build the album and learn the prompted memories and it's really cool i promise you once the first one happens and you start seeing what people have done you're going to want to be in the prompted memories class for the yep. next one it's really cool so we came up with that at um lisa's dining room table i'm like i here's what happens i throw out an idea or they throw out an idea and we take it and we shoot it up in the air and we go crazy with it can you imagine what that table is like? Yeah, I've been around it. Getting a word in edgewise between all of us. It's mostly just me. But getting a word in trying to come up with ideas. And I mean, we, we can come up with some stuff when we're all together. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Bye, Mom. Yeah. All right. It's kind of well. like scrapbooking by number. We called it prompted memory. We had a bunch of names we were trying to come up with. But we liked prompted memories 
Because what it's actually doing is it's, it's, the idea is for you to go, all right, I've got my album and these are the pictures I want to capture. These are the memories I want to capture. And I think it'd be cool to just make a list on your phone, like just in your notes. So when you're at a function and you open it, you go, oh, I've got a prompted memory for um, Christmas pajamas, right? Then you know when they have their pajamas on, grab a picture so it'll fit in your album. And when it's done, you print your pictures and you know right where they're going. It's so good. All right. So the question is, should you sign up for part one and part two? Um, yes. But actually, I think it it's one class, but we have it listed here. Amanda, correct me if I'm wrong. It's one class. You pay one time, but you take part one and part two because it's a long class. It's like a four-hour thing. But what we did was we gave you from 9 to 11 is part one. Then you have your lunch break. Um, and then you go into the second class. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. And it, and we're doing that again at, um, yeah, it's one class just showing price in two parts because it's a long class. So, um, <laughs> we're shooting cotton balls. It'll be messy. Making a list and checking it twice. That's cute. All right. We have had a quick show. To, oh, wait, did I tell everything? Uh, no. Okay. All the stuff I'm telling you today, it is very important that you sign up for our newsletter. Okay. It's not exactly a newsletter. What we do is we send you email updates about anything. When these classes go live, your email will get, you'll get an email about it. When we do a craftique, you'll get an email about it. When we do a live show, you'll get an email reminder. I have found this is the easiest way to tell everybody information um, because so many times you tell me, I don't know where to find this or how to find that, or I don't know when you're doing this or when you're doing that. That's the way to do it. So be sure to sign up for our newsletter. The link for the newsletter, if it's not already there, it will be in the description of this video. Uh, Jordan was going to do that real quick for me. So you can just click on it and go sign up for the newsletter. But when you go to our website, if you've never signed up for it before, you'll be given the option when you first come in, a pop-up will come up and you need to sign up for those updates. You'll be glad you did. Uh, yeah, cotton ball in reference to ideas. We we throw out a lot of ideas together. Oh, yeah. We do. They'll be slinging them. All right. Vinny has not said much today. Vinny is going to close us out in prayer. He's just been sitting out there being patient. Well, I've been trying to read and keep you up have, and make sure well. I didn't miss anything. So. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. I've got a lot of Well, I mean, it is hard to get a breath in, you know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> well, hey, let's pray together and we'll close it out for today. All right. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for the privilege that we have to just hang out together, to have fun, to laugh, to talk with one another, to share with one another, and to just experience all that you have for us. Lord, I, I pray today for those that have requested prayer. I pray for uh, Miss Joyce's granddaughter, uh, Lord, that you would just be with her. Uh, all the others that mentioned, Lord, I just know that uh, you already know what's going on in every situation. So, God, we just lift those folks up to you. And trust, God, that you're going to uh, do things according to your will. And, God, we just know that uh, nothing happens without you, so we just trust you for everything. God, I pray that uh, you would be with us uh, the rest of this week. Keep everybody safe. And, Lord, for those that will be attending church on Sunday, I pray you bless them. And, God, we thank you again for the platform and the privilege that we have to honor you and to share you and to just have a good time together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That was fun. We did a lot. We did a lot. Yeah, prices won't be available early, which is actually a good thing. It'll kind of slow down the sales. Because, <laughs> listen, they're going to sell quickly, but they they won't sell as quickly. The Made It Con and the Make It Escape, but that's why we sell them at a different time. Those sell super fast. These go a little slower and you have a little more time unless there's something you really, really want to get in on. Plus... We have 30 spots in every class. So you can get a class. You just got to jump in there. If you have a prayer request and you um, would like for us to be praying with you, not just on Thursday afternoons, you can head to our Facebook group, which is called Hide His Word in My Heart, and you can add your prayer request there. And Kim Lloyd, our amazing administrator that grabs all the prayer requests, will put it on our prayer list that we actually can see and print out so we can be in prayer for you guys. Um, you can go join that Facebook group if you'd like to get more involved in that. Thank y'all so much for the huge outpouring of emails and messages and um, comments about our anxiety uh, Bible chat last Sunday. 
a lot of folks really enjoyed it. I cannot tell you how many emails I have gotten. I've been trying to respond to them. I have responded. I think I have about, I think I have two days worth. I have not gotten to, um, what you guys overcome blows my mind. Seriously. What yep. God has done in your life, how you share it. It means so much to me. And I'm so grateful that you take the time to tell me. Some of you guys are telling me how you've gotten through anxiety. Some of you guys are telling me what you're dealing with right now. Um, I was even able to pray with somebody through a Facebook message. That was the coolest thing. I was like, okay, God, you're telling me to do it. It's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, so it's been really cool. Um, how that's gone. And the thing I think is, has to happen next Sunday based on that. I think we have to, I have to give my testimony on YouTube because now that I think about it, we've never done that on YouTube. We've done it on Facebook and I have it written on Facebook, mm -hmm. but I've had a lot of people say to me, they want to know it. And I thought I would just share it with you this Sunday cause it's about anxiety. And I think I need to share it. Um, I wrote it out for somebody the other night when God was just like, you got to tell them, you got to tell them. And I remember thinking, I need to remember this again too. I need to experience it again. Sometimes you just need to, say it again and remember it and see what yeah. it felt like. So I think that's what we're going to do Sunday. So if you'd like to hear my um, testimony about God healing me from anxiety, I would love for you to be um, watching Sunday at noon for that. And that I will say this to you before you watch it. That's a very emotional and very personal thing for me. So I'm not telling you for your opinion. I love you, but I'm not telling you my testimony for your opinion. I'm telling you for those of you that it might make a difference. Okay. So I, we tend to have to, um, we tend to have to, um, what's the word for, we tend to have to, um, what's the word? Like, not fight. We don't fight about it, but we're, a lot of times we are combated about our beliefs. A lot of times people, um, you know, come at us cause they don't believe like we do. I get that. That's totally normal, but I'm not going to do that about my testimony. So if somebody sends me an email or a comment or something and they disagree, I won't be responding to that because I know that God does this for me. So that's not what the video is about. So when you're watching it, if you, if you see, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened to me word for word and how it happened. So I'm going to ask you that again, I'm not looking for, for opinion on that. I'm just sharing my testimony. There you go. That's a, I, you understand what I'm saying. It's not a place I'm going to fight and it's not a place I'm going to entertain, um, Satan on at all. There you go. <laughs> not for a second. Cause I know. So anyway, I'll see you guys Sunday for that. Uh, are you going to be in the room when I do it? Are you going to let you me do it? If you want me to, I, I will. Or if you can do it by yourself. Whichever. I don't know. We might. I mean, I don't mind doing it by myself. I just don't know how it would be me just be staring at a camera talking. I don't know. I think it's probably it's better. It's your testimony. But I also like when you're able to talk about it too because you experienced everything I experienced and you were there and saw how it Well, went. and I experienced it from a different angle. Mm -hmm. It's always good to hear what Vinny went through too. So, look, and I'm going to say this. Me saying that I'm not looking for an opinion on that. Those of you who understand what I'm saying will get it. You know what I'm saying? You'll get it. I'm, it's just, it's out there for people who need to hear it. That's what it is. Debate. Thank you, Dee Dee. <laughs> My brain. We get debated a lot. Or we get challenged to debate a lot. We don't debate, by the way. That's not who we are. Um, so anyway, I'm going to share it with you. And that's right. It's my testimony, not someone else's. So, All right, guys. I love you very much. I cannot wait to share that with you because... Just rehashing it. It was just the coolest thing. I can't wait to share that with you. Yep. And um, if you need anything, you know how to get in touch with us. The best way, there's two ways to get us super fast. Info at maymaymadeit.com or our chat on our website. There's a little chat button in the bottom right-hand corner. You can click that and you'll be talking to Shannon in 37 seconds. Right? For the most part. Sometimes she's busy. So, all right, guys. We love you. And we will see you next time. And um, anything else? Are we good? I think we're good. All right, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.